I've heard numbers as high as $275 billion we lose on illegal Im immigration. And here you have a wall where you're talking about to complete, because, again, a lot has already been done. You know, we've been getting money in. Somebody said that we didn't spend the money. Well, we have spent it, but we don't pay contractors before they finish the job. The $5 billion, $5.6 billion approved by the House is such a small amount compared to the level of the problem. When you see that the Democrats want to give away $12 billion extra, and we're giving away $54 billion in foreign aid. So we give money to countries, but we don't give money to our own country, which is another thing that I've been complaining about, and we're cutting that back. It's very unfair when we give money to Guatemala and to Honduras and to El Salvador, and they do nothing for us. But I will say this. If he fought really hard against President Obama, like he does against me, he would have won the election. Does that make sense to you? If he fought the way he fights me, I'm telling you, he would have won the election. But I think he's going to end up being a team player. I think he agrees with uh, many of the things that we've done and many of the things that we have in mind, and we'll see what happens. So Syria was lost long ago. It was lost long ago. And besides that, I don't want, we're talking about sand and death. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about, you know, vast wealth. We're talking about sand and death. Now, the Kurds, it's very interesting. Turkey doesn't like them, other people do. I didn't like the fact that they're selling the small oil that they have to Iran. And we asked them not to sell it to Iran. But the Kurds, our partners, are selling oil to Iran. We're not thrilled about that, okay?